It's the year 1948. Germany is slowly finding its feet again, and so is Franz Bierbichler Jr. He works at a brewery, and his delivery vehicle is even a Mercedes. His working day does begin at half past six, but in these tough times, he's happy to have a secure income at all. So out comes the Mercedes 170 flatbed, and it's back to loading up the beer. The post-war period relies on tough, hands-on people like Franz Bierbichler. This is the only way to get the economy going again. The breweries also profit from the reconstruction of Germany, of course. No wonder, because when people have been working hard, they like to enjoy a beer or two. And since June 1948, we've had the new German mark to buy beer with. The Deutsche mark replaced the old worthless Reichsmark and was supposed to put an end to the thriving black market trade in cigarettes and other items. France has stowed his cargo on the flatbed. But before he delivers the beer, he quenches his thirst and surveys his Mercedes delivery van with pride. The Mercedes 170V flatbed truck from 1948 corresponds to the pre-war model built since 1936, and you can see that in many details. Benz restarted production as early as 1946, despite the harshest conditions. At the beginning, there was no electricity, no coal, and neither steel nor iron. But fortunately, not all of the factories and supplies were in ruins. Beside the flatbed, the Mercedes 170 was also available as a box-type van, a saloon, and a convertible. On its bench seats, the flatbed can carry up to six people. The front seat with its vertical back is hardly any more comfortable, and besides, the driver's cabin is simply very cramped. And the steering column seems threateningly like a sabre. The 1.7-litre four-cylinder inline engine has a tame 38 horsepower at 3,600 revs. From 1949 onwards, there was also a diesel engine of the same size and power. The 42-litre tank is situated in the engine compartment to save space. At precisely 8 a.m., Franz Bierbichler's break comes to an end. The customers are waiting for their beer. Today will be a hot day, so he opens the air vents in the tarpaulin, which cools the amber nectar a little bit. He goes at an unhurried pace through the countryside. Fast driving is out of the question because of the antiquated suspension with two transverse leaf springs. After all, the beer has to arrive without any loss. Come on. Come on. 
glowing engine heat means Beer Bickler's workplace is also extremely hot, but he takes it easy and treats himself to a good long swig from the bottle. Lucky for him, there's no alcohol limit yet. Nonetheless, France is completely on the ball. With vigorous double clutching, he jollies along the gears, which are grateful for it, despite synchronization. The snail's pace steering demands powerful grip and only changes the truck's direction very vaguely. The flatbed was the real pack horse in the 170 model series. Franz Bierbichler Jr. treasures the unpretentious and robust character of his little beer truck, just like everyone who drove a delivery Mercedes in those days.